Hi friends, I'm TTB. We're back in Mac Warrior 5 Mercenaries with a new Call to Arms DLC provided by PGI, and I am looking forward to trying out this new DLC. There's been a lot of hype around the melee weapons, around the hatchet man. People will love to get their hands on it, and uh, I'm of course game to try it out. Um, we're gonna try out the, the normal Call to Arms campaign, and then moving forward from this, we might do some more modded playthroughs or some co-op playthroughs. Uh, we'll see how people like it. For now, let's see what it says. Call to Arms, it's gonna start in year 3025, so 10 years after the normal campaigns, one year before Castro Lances, uh, Lances launches. It has been 10 years since an ambush led to the death of your father and the collapse of his mercenary company. Nyx Cavaliers and the Federated Sons World of the Berry. After barely surviving the ordeal, you and your father's longtime CEO, Rihanna Campbell, rawr, forged the new mercenary company from the ashes of Nyx Cavaliers. Looking to carry on your father's legacy as a mercenary. There's a couple of typos in the mis uh, space too much in here. After years of struggle, your company has now found some measure of stability off the back of a recent contract with the Draconis combined. We've been working for the Dirty Drax? Who's been in charge here? With your standing with the mercenary view board restored and now fielding two light lances of mechs, you and Rana are now ready to venture out into the larger inner sphere and forge your own legacy amongst the stars. Starting system... Günzburg. It's not Gunsburg. It's not Gunsburg or Gunsburg. It's Günzburg. That is the name of the city, which has the coat of arms, which actually is referenced in the whole BattleTech universe. Fun fact: not that far away from me. <laughs> All right, let's see. We got a Phoenix up. We got a Vindicator, Jenner, Spider, Blackjack. Javelin SRMs, Commando, and Locust. I especially like the Javelin and the Blackjack. The Jenner is not horrible. The Vindicator is not horrible, but uh, Phoenix Hawk is also... Nah, it's not a good Phoenix Hawk. So I think my mech of choice would probably be the Javelin with the SRM6. Let's go. You're about to start a new career. Yes. It's recommended you start a brand new company when starting a career mode campaign. Yes, start a new career. New company, once again. Um, Humanity began colonizing the stars. We've seen this video so many times. It's great if you if you haven't seen it yet, watch it definitely. But we've seen it so many times, so just just skipping over that. Free Rasselak Republic, uh, Zoidy is asking, is that later in the timeline? Yes. If you do free Rasselak Republic, you are starting at like 30, 35. Ooh, new backup screen. Welcome to career mode. What do we get? Name your mercenary company. Okay, guys. Quick chat. I need mercenary company names. Oh, we make a com we make a, a company that is uh, in direct competition with Elon Musk. It's the it's the boring company, not the boring company, but the boring company. Done. Name doesn't matter, anyways. Few transmissions. Uh, Sky Rebels. Old friend. Okay, which of these missions will lead us towards the, um... Oh, this one is it, okay. So... We don't care about this, we call about this, because this is a mission with, tagged with this little axe right here, which means it's a call to arms DLC mission. Now I have to be a, uh, a Lurin rebel with a face mask. Greetings, Commander. You may call us the Independent People of Sky. We represent a number of units under the employ of House Steiner, currently assigned to the front line against House Kurita. In 3023, House Steiner shocked the entire inner sphere with the creation of the first new mech design in generations, the Hatchet Man. The Archon said that this new mech would help bolster our country's mech regiments with a new line mech. But in reality, the mech has mostly been disturbed, distributed to forces loyal to the Archon and those warmongering pigs in the Federated Suns. Oof. Ooh. Ooh. That's lots of hate here against the Fedcom. Or against the feds. Doing nothing for those of us in the Isle of Sky. Uh, of course, Sky. Why can't we just remove the Isle of Sky? That's what I wonder. As our home defenses are slowly whittled down every day by raiders from the Draconis Combine. We've learned that the Arcan and Defiance Industries has delivered an entire company of new hatchetmen mechs to the 19th Arcturan Guards. A formerly prestigious unit before the incurred major losses at the hands of House Kurita decades ago. While this may sound like a legitimate reason to refit the unit with new mechs, I assure you it is not. In the decades since their collapse, the 19th has become a dumping ground for the spoiled sons and daughters of the Commonwealth's wealthiest families entering the LCAF. 
Riding high on the coattails of the 19th story pass to further elevate their own social status while turning the, while turning, turning the unit itself into their own state-sponsored frat house. As the first brand new mech designed in over a century, the Hatchetman has become a hot commodity that the Archon is willing to throw these petulant brats in order to appease their wealthy industrialist parents rather than supporting those of us on the front lines who are in desperate need of new equipment to fight our actual enemies. <sighs> As Harrison Ford would say, you can write that stuff, but you can't read it. You can't say it. I wish we had a better way of doing this, but we are left with no more options. We want you to disable as many of these hatchetmen as possible so that we may take possession of them. We can't overtly move against our own countrymen, but we are in desperate need of those mechs to defend ourselves from Cretan aggression. So we're seeking your aid in capturing and acquiring these hatchetmen and putting them in the hands of the people that truly need them. Will you help us? Yes! The people that truly need the hatchetmen is my company. I want new hatchetmen. So we will help you, and then we'll take the hatchetmen. And then we will kill you all. Or something like that. Because we're pirates. No, we're not. We're just... Oh, look at that. Melee weapons are already here. Assault Battle Axe. <laughs> That's 80 damage. 80 freaking damage! If you hit the cockpit with that, it's just gone. <laughs> Here's a heavy axe, 60 damage. These are heavy mech weapons, right? Yeah, yeah. Heavy long sword. There's, there's different hard point sizes as well. Alright, that's a long sword. It looks more like a club than a sword to me. Okay. Light knuckles. Here we go. <laughs> Some knuckle dusters for a light mech. Alright, alright. I'm gonna buy those. I'm gonna buy light knuckles. And hey, there's a medium hatchet for the hatchet man. Let's buy that as well. Medium laser short burst. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah close. Um, let's have a look at our mechs. Because we'll have to... Do we have to travel? Uh, close. Let's see what the new star map looks like. Does it tell you what missions are available? No. Here, maybe? Okay, so that's the new star map, basically. It shows you the, the system. It shows the recommended reputation a little bit bigger. And it shows you the modifiers. Okay. What it still doesn't show you is like what kind of missions are available. What's, what are the details on this mission are. So star map mouse over still is a lot better than this current solution. Hands down. Okay. What's on the mech market, I wonder? There's a fire starter here. I don't want that. Cicada? Blah. Okay. Yeah, mechs are bad. Um, anything good in the barracks? What kind of pilots do we have even? Okay, these pilots are solid. Yeah, we don't need to buy anything from the barracks. Okay, so, should we be in the blackjack or should we be in the javelin? I think we should be in the blackjack. So what is going to be my lands? I would say blackjack, javelin, phoenix hawk, and vindicator. Okay. Time to do the usual thing, which is to improve upon these builds. Although this build is fairly solid, but just remove the jump jets. Change the armor around a little bit. Six armor on the back should be sufficient. This up. Oh, we can't have armor. Oh, okay. Um, armor up the arms. Okay. Um, AC2 ammo, AC2 ammo. Huh. That's a fairly solid mech. I need a half ton more AC2 ammo. Can we, can we swing this somehow? AC2 half ammo. Yes, we can. Alright. AC2 half ammo. Just here. Okay, now we can armor up the cockpit a little bit more. Or the legs. Never mind. That is all we can do. Looks good to me. Javelin. Yeah, yeah. Way too many jump jets, dudes. Way too many jump jets. There's a medium hand slot. You know, it's a medium hand slot. But for light. Light. So we can go knuckles. Okay, I have to play the javelin. Never mind, we're playing the javelin. We've got we've got knuckles on the javelin. I mean, this is... I have to play this mech. The question is just, can we survive playing this mech? 
because he looks a little bit thin on the chest right now. Um, if I kill a heat sink, it will work though. Kill a heat sink and get maybe a half ton. Although no, I really want to armor up these legs. Ha! Huh. Nope, this is gonna be it. Uh, two tons of SRM ammo. That's not enough. We're gonna get ourselves three tons of SRM ammo. And one single heat sink. And two light knuckles. Unless there's anything melee on the market. No, we already have the light knuckles. Okay. I wonder what that will do. If we don't have that, we have another full ton of stuff that we could put in ammo, for example. So keep in mind, we are choosing to bring one ton of melee weapons with us. Melee weapons have weights, unfortunately. Phoenix Hawk. Anything on the market? No. Large laser, medium laser, machine guns, lots of jump jets. Okay. We only need one jump jet, good sir. Armor up this thing a little bit more and then maybe give it more cooling or something. Also, armor up the legs and the arms. Mm hmm. Yep, that is all we can do here. There we go. It's gonna run a little bit more cool. And uh, that's gonna be it. And the Vindicator. What do we give the Vindicator? PPC Small Laser. And Learn 15 Stream. Is there anything good on the market? The Learn 5 Stream, sorry. There's nothing big on the market, unfortunately. Large Laser Short Burst is here, though. Um, these are probably just... Oh, these are medium energy slots, and this is a large one. So we could go large, medium, medium. Huh... Also some good large laser short burst here. I'm gonna buy three of these and then what about medium lasers? No medium lasers? Short burst medium lasers are on sale. Okay. Um oh we have medium lasers, never mind. But we will do large laser short burst. Medium medium. And then we'll have a look at the details and armor up this thing properly. Six pack armor should be enough. We will readjust if we need to. It's way too much back armor right here, good sir. There we go. Um, too many jump jets. One is enough. Um, large, medium, medium. Actually, an SRM four might not be bad here. Get a get get a ton of SRM ammo in there, maybe. Mm-hmm. And I'm up the cockpit completely. SRM half ammo goes here. Actually no. Didn't check that beforehand. Kill that. Just give it more heat sinks. This could be a good mech actually. This could be a good mech. Large laser short burst, two medium lasers. And uh SRM4. That could be a good mech. Alright. Do we work on the other mechs? I don't know if we have to, if we, we will have to uh, be on a mission that requires us to do multi-mission thingy, so might as well improve these things right now while we can before we are in a spot where we can't and are feeling very sad for ourselves. So those genos are death traps. And the only way to get around this, I think, is to just remove the SM4. There we go. Now it's fully armored up, but it can even fight back a little bit now. Uh, spider. I don't think we'll be using that spider. I mean, what the hell is this? This thing is more jump jets than weapons. I don't know. It's more jump jets than weapons, unfortunately. We'll repair it. But, um, yeah. That makes no sense. It's 
fully armored up of actually. Let's see. I actually have to drop. I have to drop another heat sink here. Two medium lasers. Okay. Don't hurt your spider's feelings. I mean, it's it's a bad mech. What can I say? <laughs> um, yeah, commando. Medium laser goes away. Like these are these are like classic BattleTech builds, right? There's nothing wrong with them. It's just that I like my my mechs to be taking some damage as well as dealing it, and I don't like to send them out basically naked. So, um, killer heat sink. Are we looking? This looks good to me. So ammo goes here. SM ammo goes here. How much heat is that per shooting? Um, that is 2.7 and 3.6. It should be fine. Actually, I think we can kill another heat sink here. And get two half tons of ammo. This commander is gonna be a, a strong mech. All right. And last but not least, the locust. The locust. Small, medium, medium, right? Okay. Again, like this mech has no armor. It's just gonna instantly dis disappear if you get shot at, so. You wanna armor that up as much as possible. And then, I mean, two medium lasers and two small lasers, right? That's literally all they can do. Okay, where, where, do you, where do you cut the heat then? Oh, here we can cut this and then just arm up the cockpit. Is that a perfect solution? No, it's not, but at least it's armored up. Alright. We're working on all our mechs. Let's start traveling. Where are we going? Is that it? To uh, we're traveling to B -b 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 Blen, whatever. Those in need. Yeah, Blen flat. So let's get there. I mean, it shows the time and the travel costs more. Like it's 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 bigger. Yeah, it's bigger. Show stuff a little bit more clearly, so that's good. Oh, we don't have the the, the faster travel time anymore. Fast animations. Huh. Here we are. All right. Well, there's our contract. Okay. They changed the UI for the reputation. We've done the lands of only Actorian Guards is often sent to garrison a number of small installations close to their primary base of operations. While we don't know the exact garrison rotation of the lands, you should be able to find them. In one of the marked locations, destroy each and every one of the main targets. Okay. Oh, we got three negotiation points. Okay, interesting. So do I get do I take money or do I take salvage? I find that mission airstrikes of war is, almost, is always never worth it. Unless you're doing demolition. Let's go salvage. What the hell? Confirm. Um, I need to be in the javelin because I need to be fisting. And then we will have a couple of pilots. Um, if anybody that's really good with like lasers, you are. So you can have the Vindicator. Actually, no, six of them is better. Um, it doesn't really matter, honestly. It doesn't really matter. You get the Phoenix Hawk and you get the Blackjack. Do we have somebody who's good with... Actually, this guy's good with Ducker. So... Who is good with Ducker? It would be nice if you could actually sort your pilots by, by skill. Um, six out of eight, so we take you for Ducker. And the Phoenix Hawk pilot is gonna be... Chui Ashaki Nazari. All right. Now, before we do anything, almost forgot it. It's time to paint. Is that new paint job accessible already? Oh yeah, there it is, Storm Surge. Nice, okay. Alright. Let's go black. This is going to be static. Ah, so the Storm Surge pattern is going to be moving all the time. I see. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 gonna be this this effect all the time. Okay. So even if you went like super red, 
Actually, it doesn't look bad. It's always going to be like a purplish hue, though. What's that color? Okay. That's kind of cool. I like that. And apply to all. Alright, now we're everybody storm surging. Now we can go into the mission. Apologies for taking so long, guys, but we gotta go through the story first. We gotta reconfigure our mechs. It's always the same story. Deployed tonnage, we are five tons over tonnage. We lose, what is that? One what? One what? what is that? One influence? Okay, we can't do that. So uh, you will be in the commander instead. There we go. Launch. Dropping for the first time again in what seems like half a year or so. Presentation is just so nice. Online. Still always nice to see. The independent people of Sky want us to eliminate a lance of hatchet men suspected to be on patrol at one of the March nav points. Be sure to approach each one with caution, Commander. While the hatchet man's signature hatchet is devastating up close, it's more than capable of splitting a mech in two after a handful of blows. Alright. Qua. Cool. Hua! Let us fight like gentlemen! Hua! 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 Alright. Alright, we got the SM6 here. Let me just do like a chain fire group here. Alright. That's okay. Moving into formation. Form up on me, my friends. What am I stuck on? That was weird. Mech spotted. Everybody murder this guy! I'm not seeing our targets at this location. Make way to the next nav point. We might have more luck there. Yes, take him down. Yes. Yes, can I see you? Oh. Oh, that's the wrong mission. We don't have heat vision, right? I keep forgetting this 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 doesn't have heat vision. Haha! -ha, you think you can escape from me? No, 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 Sherry! Hey, come, come back here! Come back here! <laughs> Foolishly, he walked into the corner! By the way, my CT is already red. Hang on. Um, I need to I need to move myself. TTB needs to move. This is such a drag, always. There we go. My CT is already red from this. Um, not sure if that was worth it. Wasn't he dead? I thought he was dead. Never mind. Alright. Scorpion light tanks. Oh, the X button kills my speed. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. There's a couple of controls that are in here that changed, maybe. Full stop. Yeah, please remove that. I don't need that. Instead, I want... Uh... Firing groups. Cycle zoom. Okay, interact is E. Didn't change, didn't see that anything was changed. Cycle ECM mode, okay, okay. Yeah, it's only night vision. All right. Alright, apply. Okay. Now I can. Now I understand what happened here. I was trying to zoom Mech Warrior Online style and uh, it just stopped my mech. Alright, there's nothing here. Nothing here. You guys let me know if you can hear me properly or if I need to tone down the sounds a little bit.
Can we tone down the music a tiny bit more? Music is good though. Ah. Game is too quiet. Okay, now I'm getting mixed messages from you guys. Let's move to the next, uh, what is the back button? There we go. Hidden object? There is a hidden object! I see hidden tanks, mostly right now. They're shooting at me. Where was a hidden object? Also, why is the artillery here? <laughs> At least it's not shooting. <laughs> uh, this is not shooting. Okay, everybody kill that spider, please. While we go ahead and loot some stuff here. Wahoo! That's literally a warehouse that we just opened up. Always good to restock on ammo. Ammo? That was an ammo restock. Right. Come here, spider. Whoa! Too slow. Let's try this again. Haha! Haha! Like them! Lucky! Take this! What? How are you? St Get down here! I'm gonna punch you! Ha ha ha! I don't know, guys. Like, looking at my mech's paper doll, I'm not a fan of punching stuff right now. It seems it comes at a huge cost. Gotta be careful. Target acquired. Focus on engagement on leads targets. There was a lot of targets over there. All our targets are here, Commander. Yo. Be careful and take them out quick. Uh-huh. Um, hmm? Target acquired. Hatchet men are coming in and I have no more armor left. That sounds like a good trade-off. Right. Uh, that's three hatchet men. Are you kidding me? You're sending us against three hatchet men. Okay. Great. Ow. Mm-hmm. And we're dead. Uh-huh. Okay. Alright, uh, take control. Uh, we lost one mech so far? Two mechs? He's toast. coming for us and the vindicator seems to be the saving grace for us here that's another hatchet man right, let's get the hatchet man Oof. I don't know I somehow questioned the tonnage rec the tonnage recommendation on this mission. No problem. The pickup zone is exactly the other way. Good job. Rip. Now let's pack it in before their friends arrive. What is that? Scorpion light tank, eh? Focus, see if we can kill that assassin. Target 
Yep. Oh yeah, let's get out of here. Yep, so far the only mech that got destroyed was mine. So the punch out message came from the hatchet man, not from me. But yeah, um, I think the drop tonnage seems a little bit low. Recommended drop tonnage for what, what, what you're dropping into. These were like three hatchet men with AC-10s. Uh, um, hmm. Unless it's meant to actually uh, kind of challenge you. I don't know. Well, at least I like the Vindicator now. Good thing. Let's get out of here. The more ballistics, the merrier. Yep. Rihanna has spent a lot of time around pretty big ballistics. Okay. We've got an assassin and a fire star. We can claim an assassin here, actually. That's good. We could claim the we could claim an LRM assassin. That's not bad. Uh, SRM assassin. As a medium hatchet here. <laughs> or medium knuckles. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get the assassin for sure. Did anybody die? No, nobody died. That's good. But yeah, we lost TTB's mech. That was expensive. Damages, 1 million. Payout, 1 million. Hell yeah. We went neutral. Ouch. Good work, Commander. We were able to recover all four of the hatchetmen that your lands destroyed, but their battle damage is significant. In order to get them operational, we need to collect a large supply of replacement parts. We've identified a series of locations where the Arcturian guards have stored replacement actuators, Mayama bundles, and weapon systems for the hatchetmen. We'll need to conduct an objective raid to find and recover these supplies in order to repair the lands of hatchetmen you've captured for us. We'll highlight locations in which the supplies should be located, but it will be up to you and your lands to identify and recover any materials on site. All further tactical information has been forwarded over to Rihanna. Good luck hunting, Commander. All right. Where are we traveling? Here? Okay. Um, yeah, I think we're traveling back somewhere else first. Um, maybe back to Goodsburg. It's going to take us 41 days, but like, if I do repairs in here, it's going to be extremely painful. So back to Goodsburg and repair. Kafu saying, same problem as before, get too close and you take as much damage as you deal. Yeah, that's how it feels like. That's how that's how melee always felt like in Mech Warrior 5 mercs. So that's the thing I was kinda scared of. It's a small missile slot and a medium missile slot, but small missile slots should be able to accommodate Um SM6 though, right? Let's see. Nope. Okay, so SM6 and SM4. Oh, but it can run a medium laser as well. Okay, that's good. No, it can actually run a large laser. Interesting. Okay, uh, repair all. Throw out all this jump jet junk. It is that time of the month again. Okay, thank you very much. For the sub. And the 15 months. What a chad. 15 months with us. Okay, we armor up the arms. Armor up the side torsos. Alright. Armor up the CT. Maybe even go like five back armor, I don't know. Okay. So what can we put in this thing? Nothing. Because this thing is literally just an engine. That's where the speed comes from. That is just horrible. Holy bejeebus. That's just... Ah, yeah, no, never mind. You know what? That assassin just gets sold. I'm not even gonna bother with this thing. I'm just gonna sell it. It's terrible. Okay, repair this mech. Three days, that's fine. Repair. Seven days. Repair. Six days. The javelin. Oof. The javelin. Let's see. 30 days, half a million. Okay. It's all right. Let's see what else we can buy here. Assault Claymore. They didn't fix it. Guys, on a Claymore sword, the defining 
the defining factor of a claymore is the handguard that goes like this, V-shaped. That's a claymore. That's not a claymore. That is a broadsword. Heavy hammer fist. Two tons for 20 damage. That's nothing. That's a small hard point. We'll see how these fit factor in. Maybe there's some, some mechs that have like internals that are limited in some way or form. Uh, shot burst. I can't even buy anything right now. We just we don't have enough money. Let's not even worry. Let's just go back into the fight. Back to the campaign mission. Get this thing going. All right. Contracts. Those need part two. The salvage hatchet men are going to need a lot of components in order to restore them to combat ready status. We've marked the facilities where the actor and guards have been keeping replacement hatchet men components. Destroy each facility and recover our needed supplies so we can get these mechs up and running. I'm still wondering why these are not, like, voiced over. There are negotiation points. We go salvage shares again. Um. Should I start out with the Vindicator? <laughs> I don't know, the Javelin didn't seem to, to run so well. Um, what What is this icon? Is that influence? Because mouse over doesn't tell us anything. Hmm. Alright. So we're going for... Finding components. Okay. Uh, I could t deploy 15 tons more, though. So... We could go with the blackjack. Should I be in the blackjack? Let's be in the blackjack. Let's deploy 160 tons. Just in case. Let's go. Let us go. The IPS may have their salvaged hatchet men, but they currently don't have the means to repair and refit them. Their intelligence has highlighted potential locations for various supplies needed to repair and maintain the Octuran Guard's hatchet men. a new biome. Our mission here is a straight up smash and grab to rob them of these supplies. We'll move on the facilities marked on your hood. Collect our clients' needed components, and then get out of there before the rest of the Arcturan guards can respond. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Careful, Commander. Although we took out a full lance of them, the Arcturan guards reportedly still have two more lances worth of hatchetmen active in their roster. Be sure to approach each facility with caution, as those mechs can do serious damage up close. It's funny how they keep reminding you of the power of the hatchetmen up close. Uh, that manticore just dropped out of the sky, did you see that? Guys, I think it's raining, the manticores are dropping out of the sky. Oh, they could see the mech. Yeah, the, 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 the tank. They're just hidden behind all this rubble. It's really problematic to hit those stuff. That was better. There's another one though. Gilligan saying this is art. Mechs dropping out of the sky is art. Okay. Oh, we s By the way, we still have the... Um, we still have the... It's not even a muzzle climb, it's just it's just the cockpit shaking as you're shooting. Okay. What is that? Okay. It's not even a muzzle shake, it's it's literally just the whole cockpit go doing like this. A team at flying tanks though, yeah, I I wasn't aware we were going up against the A team, damn it. I think I just killed face. 
Rihanna's gonna be pissed. J. Edgar. He did, he did a nice job. Oh fuck, there is another Manticore. core. And he just did a number on me. Ow, that hurt. It beefs the PPC. I like this new biome. It's very interesting. These bigger rocks are probably not gonna be walked through, right? Nope. Okay. Let's just go over here and see what's over there. Um, I find myself taken back to uh, some mods that I like, and Enhanced Zoom is one of them. Because with this 2x zoom, it's no fun to snipe at longer ranges. There's another hatchet man. All right, let's bring down the hammer on the hatchet man. <laughs> you are part of hammer unit, lady. You just were the anvil. You were the keg that we tapped. We tapped it so ha so hard, it burst. Don't do that with the ladies, though. That's not good. Nice. Um, Alright. Alright, there's nothing here, apparently. Except a couple of tanks. We killed one hatchet man, though. Let's keep on moving. Nice shot. Nicely murdered, good lady. I always wish there was something in those. Well, that, that, that those would be like repair spots, but unfortunately they're not. They're just like hangers to repair tanks and mechs don't really fit. What the hell, dude? Oh, there's something over there. This is something we need to scan, I see. I feel this game would really benefit from being able to put down waypoints and sending your AI mates to waypoints. Okay, now we're scanning. Now we're scanning with gasoline. Wait, what? Everybody kill this guy, please. Don't kill this turret. And then we'll scan. How many more do we have? Oh, find the... Oh, there's some loot here. Beep, 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 beep. Yoink! It was just ammunition restock? I don't want ammunition restock. I want I want repair pads. Scorpion light tank. Alright, let's go grab it. Move to the commander. Whee! He exploded beautifully. Um 730 meters. The scorpions are coming out of nowhere. I'm I'm I also want my radar antenna back. 360 degree radar. So PSL, and this is. There's a tornado here. Apparently. Oh. And the Hatchet Man. You know what would be too bad, Mr. Hatchet Man? If you couldn't use that hatchet because you're not in range to use the hatchet. No more hatchet for you, good sir. I literally disarmed the hatchet man. Enemy destroyed. Oh. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Okay. Target There's quite a bit of bullet drop in this game, I forgot about that. I just walked through something. It went poof. Maybe it was a weasel. We will never know. Let's go scan here. I make my own way through. I want the max zoom button. Connect the replacement actuators. Oh, looks like they're over there. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna walk through here. Over that radar truck or whatever that was. Oh, you need those? Nah, you don't need those. 
I need to find the bloody warehouse and destroy it. It's it's important to always destroy the bloody warehouse. Not the normal warehouse, not the electronics warehouse. It's always the bloody warehouse I need to kill. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's make a path through here. There we go. Hello. Patton tank. Yeah, I don't want you here. Go away. He's going away, but not in the way that I like it to go away. We need to keep an eye out. There's going to be a couple of mechs in there, in that compound, most likely. So let's uh, try and clear out the sides first. Where's the pattern tank? Is that it? That's it. Are you still alive? Okay, now you're dead, though. There's a J. Edgar. Mm-hmm. It's funny how these pilots think like MechWarrior Online pilots. Ah, oh, we're gonna we're gonna file in behind the leader. If you guys have seen this channel or my streams a little bit more often, you know that behind somebody is not the spot to be. It's with them that you want to be. Like this guy, for example. Good job. He was with me. His cannons are amazing. Very loud and very shaky. Also. What's happening here? Am I in a storm or something? There's a storm going on or something. Alright, our scanner's almost done. My armor bundles. Yes. Yes, once I find the ass, I will target it. Okay, what? Got it. Time to leave. Oh, and that's a good pickup zone. Actually close. Oh yeah, they're dropping in behind us. I see the dropship coming in already. Gotta make a door! Moving into formation. Let's keep our repair costs low. Just get the hell out of here. Oh! Is someone messing with Rihanna? That's not a good idea, this thing shoots back. I should just wait here and see what comes. Maybe we can utilize Rihanna as backup and just farm something. Maybe something good shows up. I'm not sure. Or do we just take the W? His arm is up close to falling off. Ah, Commando's the only guy that's still fresh. Locust. We didn't destroy one of your components, we destroyed your component, i.e. your mech is dead. Alright, let's get out of here. Welcome back, Commander. Stand by for extraction. Let's get out of here. I like that the dropships are very much armed, so it kind of simulates the idea that attacking a dropship is not a good idea in Mech Warrior or in the Battletech universe. Reputation rank 4. Um, there's the Locust we could claim. Or we could get some large lasers. Actually, I can get the Locust and two large lasers. How about that? I also could get medium knuckles. But I don't feel the need to. I don't know, for me personally, maybe maybe those melee weapons will, be get, will get more interesting the more damage they do. But to trade like a t one ton for 15 damage for close range, it might be worth it sometimes, when you have nothing else to do. But here's here's what I see to be a problem. Since you cannot change engines, or since you cannot change things like um, ferrofibrous armor, or um, uh, the other thing, endosteel, right? Since you can't do that, it limits your options. So the fact that you can't change your engine size, the fact that you can't change endosteel, ferrofibrous, or XL engines, or light engines, makes it so that these trade-offs for melee weapons become even more problematic. And I don't know if I want to take that trade. I'm gonna trade the trade to try it out, of course, but you know what I mean. Alright, let's grab that. 759, not bad. 
I don't know what that commando was during the whole round. He did 76 damage. <laughs> uh, 